What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, saints and angst, and welcome to Lactic Acid. I'm your host, Dominique Smith. Today, we have one of the legends of Central Florida and the state of Florida, nine-time FHSAA state champion in cross country and track and field. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's two hands and almost toes. If you are keeping count at home, she is committed to Stanford and she is a part of a rock star class. She is none other than Miss Caroline Wells. Caroline, what's going on with your fam? How you doing? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing good. Yeah, Caroline just graduated high school, so she's like really, really big time now. So we got to get her verified on uh, Instagram since we're verifying, uh, you know, people who are big deal. Y'all need to verify my account too. Uh, <laughs> but I have to ask this question. And so I started, I don't know, this is just something I've been asking recently. If Ben and Jerry's came to you and said, Caroline, congratulations, you just graduated high school. So to reward you, we want to do a promotion that centers around you and your favorite ice cream. What two flavors of ice cream are you combining and what is the name of the new ice cream? Oh, the name. I, I don't know what the name would be, but my favorite ice cream flavors, hmm. I like cookie dough. That's kind of basic. And <laughs> <laughs> I also like, I really like iced coffee. So those two combined could be good. Ice, <laughs> really? So that does coffee. not. <laughs> so like caramel coffee, like I have a coffee ice cream. That's good. I don't know. So don't like, know. wow, I'm trying to think. I go to Dunkin' all the time, and that would be good as ice cream. Coffee ice cream, or so I can see if you like coffee ice cream. So is it like cold brew or just like that sweet stuff? Oh, I like the sugar. I like okay. The, the sweet coffee. Okay, so <laughs> maybe not with cookie dough. Maybe that might be the gross part, but it could work if it's caramel coffee. It could work with cookie dough. It, I think it, so too. It gives it chunks. I just don't know what to call it. That's I would probably call it like morning run or something yeah. like that. I go to Duncan every day after my run. So okay, Caroline, you're a trooper. I hate coffee. So that's why it threw me off. I am anti-coffee, anti-coffee bean. I actually don't know how I live without it. Um <laughs> but I can see that actually work that's actually not a bad choice duncan we or ben and jerry we've got to make that happen let me ask you yeah. this do you try the girl scout cookie coffee no i i stick to like the same thing every single day i get just a caramel iced coffee with cream and sugar every single day wow <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'm not mad at the consistency. Hey, that's why she was a part of the makings of a champion series. And that's the makings of a champion. I'm not mad at it. So like I said, if you want to know a little bit more about Caroline, just how she got into running and all of that fun stuff, go check out that series on fan hub, um, fan hub TF, which has an app now um, fan hub, two words by athlete biz. And I'll post that in the show notes. But like I said, nine times state champion, and you had a phenomenal season this year. Uh, that state championship meet was pretty lit, if I would say so myself. And you had some awesome races and you persevered, ran tough, gritty, yeah. and definitely deserved um, to win. Just kind of take mm -hmm. me through your season. How did you feel about it? And um, what are some of the most memorable things that you take away from it? Yeah, the season, um, we're like cutting it kind of shorter than I, I hope to um, end it. But um, it was a good season. It wasn't like anything like my junior season. Like it, it wasn't like all over the place. We kind of just stayed more local. Um, I raced at FSU Relays, which was like my big race this season. And I ran pretty well there. Um, and then we got to the skate series and I started having like um, some like muscle aches and, and then um, which just like led to just like some more issues. So we, we ended up just like cross training through the state meet. So like from districts on, I was just really cross training to get ready for the state meet. And then um, now I'm back, like getting ready for college and 
just getting that strength to run like the 6K um, this coming up. How do you feel now? Yeah, I feel really good um, now. I'm just like getting back into it. Like I started running last week, so I'm super excited to just get ready and back into it. Would you say that state championship meet, I think, which one was it? Uh, I'm trying to figure out the race, but it was a tight knit race. I want to say it was the 16. It was the 3200. I'm sorry, was, the 32. Yeah, that was tight knit. Yeah. How much, especially going through what you went through, I'm um, talking about, yeah. you know, just kind of, you know, the muscle um, problems that you were having. How much did it mean to you to win that race over an elite opponent? Like that is tough, gritty running. Yeah, um, I wasn't like nervous going into the races because I, I had like lots of trust in like all the miles that I've ran previously throughout like the years and like I trusted my training and I knew that like the cross training I was doing was like still pretty tiring and like good efforts. So um, when I got to the race and um, I knew like my body wasn't like 100%, um, I just knew that I wanted to like just push through it get through this race so it really meant a lot um just finishing that race as as a champion and winning um just to end my cap my high school career off like that 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 really meant a lot to me have you had a chance to reflect on all that you've accomplished yeah I've reflected um like yeah I've reflected a bit on like my my high school career um with like the the past award, like we've had like lots of like banquets and lots of stuff going on these past couple of weeks. So just to like look back at all that and like my high school team banquet and like having that be like the very end of high school, just I, I was able to have some time to do that. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of remarkable just seeing the progression and it's been a, it's, I don't want to say it's been weird, but you had like, you were balling out your sophomore year mm -hmm. and COVID happened. Um, and then your junior year, you come out, you ball out even more. And mm -hmm. then your senior year, you just continue to add to that. And so now you're committed oh. to Stanford and yeah. you guys have, honestly, your recruiting class is like the Avengers. Um, <laughs> Like when you factor in you, you got Juliet Whitaker who just popped 159 in the yeah. ring casually, like low key, which is just still insane to me. Yeah. Um, how excited are you to get out there? You leave and your dad just, uh, you know, told me 15 days, which is mm -hmm. insane. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, you know, we have like such like, like a diverse group of individuals coming coming all together like there's one girl that that's from australia who's run like a 4 15 1500 oh. and like so it's just we have just like such a like an amazing group of individuals and like we're, we all have like our strengths i think as well like roshin runs like a 52 400 which is just like insane and so like just to have us all come together and we're also like I've like kept in pretty close contact with everyone. Um, I think I talked to like Ava Parekh like every single day, like on the phone, like we talk all the time. So just to like have that close relationship already, I'm just so excited to like get to train with them and, and we're really going to push each other and like support each other to get better. Would, am I wrong in saying that a national championship could be coming out of this group? Oh yeah, especially with Alyssa Jones as well. I mean, she won four events at the Gosh. state meet, which is just insane. Down there in Miami, um, if I'm not mistaken, I mm -hmm. forgot the exact school, but yeah, she she's unreal. It's it's just amazing just to see like that talented class. Yeah, like I don't know, it, it's like I said, it's the Avengers essentially, um, <laughs> which is. I don't know. It'll be scary for the NCAA, but it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, for sure. The weather, how excited. It is very hot today. And so now yeah. you go from not being able to breathe to like living out on a patio in Palo Alto. How excited are you for the change in scenery? Yeah, I'm super excited for like to get to run on new trails. I, I mean, I run on like the same trail every single day and like run in the same park. 
So I'm super excited for like, just like the change in environment. I think like the humidity, even though in like the heat, I, I think like at some points it has helped me become a tougher runner and it has given me like an advantage, like training through it. Um, so I think my recovery time is going to become shorter, like, and just being out in California and like not sweating probably as much as I do. <laughs> here. Um, but I'm super excited to just have like that, that nice weather all year and not have the, the rain showers in the afternoon. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even, we're, you know, should call it fortunate if we get showers because that lightning is different here. Yeah. Florida. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, but I don't know. It'll be fun to see, like, the first time you do a time trial, your time, like, drops significantly just from the standpoint that you can breathe yeah. more so when you run. Um, but, yeah, I, I envy you for the weather because it there's, there's two conditions I don't get how people run in when it's blistering cold and when it's steaming hot. I prefer I the heat, the, but. Yeah, I would yeah. prefer the heat over the cold windy no I can't do that I went to we were in Texas um in February and they had like a really awful cold front and I had like a 10 mile run that day and I had to go down and back and the winds were like 40 miles an hour and I was like I would I cannot do this no thank you I would no. rather run like 90 degrees it was miserable when it's windy like that, it's it's like and it's cold. It's like somebody is stabbing your lungs. Yeah, it was like, horrible. Oh man, I would have had to call it in that day. That is, that's something else. I don't think you have to worry about that in California. But <laughs> um, no, it was so bad. My coach was like, like it was supposed to be like at a certain time, and I just didn't hit my time. And he was like, "What happened?" And I was like, "The conditions were horrible." <laughs> No, that's, see, I'm not a big everybody gets a trophy person, but that is a good moral victory that you finish. Yeah. Um, you finish. Time doesn't matter at that point. So let's switch gears from running briefly and yeah. let's get to the hard hitting questions. Okay. Already covered uh, ice cream, coffee, and caramel latte ice cream. <laughs> what are three things that people do not know about you? Hmm. Three things that people don't know about me. I have three dogs. Really? I see one yeah. behind you. Yeah, we have, and then we have like two other dogs that are litter mates and they're brothers. Okay. And yeah, they're, they're crazy. <laughs> um, during the school year, I wake up like at like 5 to 5.30 a.m. like almost every morning. And then, oh, I go on walks all the time when I'm not running. I'm an avid walker. Avid walker. Wow, that is, that's a first on the show. I'm not mad at it. It's good to take, I don't know, it's good to take a nice walk. Not in this state, but it is nice to take a nice walk walk so what made you just get into walking um my friend Evie and I during well I I don't walk like how I used to but sometimes I'm too sore to walk but um <laughs> my friend Evie and I during COVID we we have like the Garmin watches that do like the step counts and all that and we like had like a competition on who could walk more and then I'd like go on like walks all the time now I don't go on them as much but I still go on them pretty often but yeah, it's like a is it like a soothing mechanism just to ease your mind or? Yeah, I just like listening to music and walking. Okay. But yeah. What's on the go to playlist? Oh, I don't know. I listen to I like Taylor Swift. I, but I don't listen to her all the time. I don't know. I listen to like a lot of things. Taylor Swift. So you're the third taylor swift listener on the show I actually interviewed an australian runner who is a fanatic like yeah. he started popping off lyrics on the show it was a little crazy but uh okay that that's fair that's fair i think the walking thing is pretty cool um because i've actually 
never heard too much of runners who are walkers because everybody's like, oh, you need to stay off your feet and all of that stuff. But if you actually read the story that I wrote on Caroline, it makes sense because we talked about how competitive you are. Yeah. And so it's like you compete at walking. <laughs> which is... Yeah. No, we don't, we don't have the competition going anymore, but it was intense, like for like a good month. Oh, man. But, but yeah. What is the highest step count you got? I think the most I've ever gotten in a day is like 40,000, which was so much. From walking? <laughs> no, I, I think I ran like twice that day and then I walked a lot that day. I, yeah, that was like the most I think I've ever walked. I was going to say, did you walk to New Smyrna Beach or something? That is. 40, no, but I, I haven't done that like ever again. <laughs> that that makes me sore like i got i got twenty thousand out of track me uh-huh that went from 7 a.m to 8 p.m but mm-hmm. 40k man that is okay i think that's why the competition ended um and if i'm wrong, evie's at fsu if i'm not yeah mistaken. she runs at fsu yes yes yeah, Winter Springs had a loaded team, um, and we'll get back to that in a minute. So we both live here in Orlando, and so I'm mm-hmm. always interested to see um, other people's perspective who live in Orlando. What is the go-to thing to do for you that you would consider fun? Um, so I mostly just like hang out with my friends. Um, we usually just like stay like in winter spring. So like the other day we didn't, we haven't done that like a lot, but we went to like um, Central Winds Park and that's like on the lake on like Jessup. And we, we did like the sunset, which was really nice. Um, my friends like going to the beach, which is pretty far, but not too far, but we go there. Um, and most of my friends, we just hang out like, at Dunkin' Donuts, but (laughs) (laughs) But that's like what we mostly do. We got to get you an NIL deal with with Dunkin'. Yeah, that would be the best. Uh, Oh my gosh, you could, they actually might, I'm not even kidding, they actually might make you like a custom coffee. Yeah, that would would be so. what, What would that be? like caramel and well that's that i only drink like the caramel iced coffee with like cream and sugar like it has so much sugar in it but it's so good that's what i drink like every single day and when they like and like sometimes the place runs out of caramel and then i'll go to the one down the street like i won't i won't (laughs) without the caramel like it needs the caramel Oh my God. Well, I mean, if you wake up at 5 30, then I understand, or 5 a.m., then I understand the need, you know, for sugar, especially sitting in school all day. Yeah. I, I mean, you are like a coffee, fanat- like a Dunkin' fanatic. No, it's, it's just Dunkin', though. It's not like I don't like Starbucks. I mean, I like uh, it. Like, I'll drink it, I'll go there, but no, if I'm you a have little to. Yeah, I'm, I'm loyal to Dunkin' Donuts, for sure. I, I'm mad at it. My mom is, I don't want to say she's the same way, but yeah, she she literally won't drink any other coffee outside of Dunkin'. Uh, but hanging out at Dunkin', that is, so like just to study or just like show? No, them? we can study there. We go after practice and we'll stay for like, because they have nice seating at ours. So we'll sit outside for like, two hours after practice hey i'm not mad at it there's a dunk in every campus in america so Stanford doesn't have it i'm like heartbroken really they don't <laughs> no every campus has a dunk like ucf has a dunk ucf has two dunkins in like a three mile radius that's crazy yeah i think it's just because it's the west coast so the west coast duncan's like an east coast thing so like when we went this summer, no, last summer, there was like, they had other places. So I'll have to, I'll have to try new places. That's it's probably, sad. that is crazy. I didn't, yeah. 
is there like one just off campus it's like four miles away oh, but, wow. I'm not gonna, but that's pretty far to get a coffee and i'm not gonna have a car i'm gonna be biking everywhere so yeah i don't oof i'm sorry yeah that's uh yeah. it's that's, sad that's devastating that's not sad that's <laughs> devastating oh man so maybe you can lead the charge for an on-campus dumping i yeah that would be really nice i don't know if i'll have that much power but well if you start winning championships then i mean like i said <laughs> sports is sports cures all things so winter springs i've only been out there a handful of times so lake jessup i knew about lake jessup but what about food that's the most important thing winter springs doesn't have that good of food to be honest i mean that's what i thought yeah yeah we have like cooey magoos which is pretty good um my dad cooks better the best food in winter springs but okay not- shout out to mr craig I, I, yeah. can, I can dig it. What's the go-to Caroline Wells plate, though? I've been asking that question lately. Like, I like a good steak. Okay. Yeah. That's like, I like when my dad cooks steak. Or he doesn't cook it all the time, but gumbo, because he's from Louisiana, and he makes a good gumbo. He cooks gumbo? Yeah. Okay, well, if whenever he cooks it again like tell him to send we, some my way <laughs> we had like a shrimp boil last night with crab and oh. and shrimp and that was pretty good too oh my gosh it goes down at the wells house yeah i listen i didn't know you guys were about that life that is <laughs> oh wow having do you have crawfish boils hmm. well our good friends had a crawfish like a, a massive crawfish boil I don't like crawfish. They kind of scare me, which, but, but my dad likes it a lot. And, but we don't have it very often because we don't have it like ever because it's like hard to get. So crawfish scary. Yes. But they're dead when you eat them. <laughs> no, the shell, the shell, I think is all the scary part. Oh, like trying to crack it and everything? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Oh, okay. I was like, I mean, a live crawfish would, I can understand, but it's like, okay, that that's fair because it is kind of difficult. Everybody, I don't know. I see people do it on TV. LSU had a tutorial about how to do it and it still doesn't make sense to me. Wow. That is, uh, gosh, you guys eat good over there. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little salty. What's the go-to uh, steak? cut of steak and then i have a steak question that i ask everybody who tells me they love steak i don't i i don't know like much about like the cuts like yeah i don't know much about it i just eat whatever my dad gives me which what's, is yeah i don't know much about it <laughs> what's the best way to eat it like like the cook like how yeah yeah <laughs> I have mine medium rare. Medium rare. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Man, I know I always get destroyed in this topic. I mm-hmm. do not. I do not understand how people can eat pork and steak medium rare. I don't eat pork medium rare. But a, I just learned on Food Network, you can cook it medium rare. I don't know how people eat steak. That is the scariest thing to me. Because when I see red on my plate, that means the cow is still mooing. I don't care if it's it's a filet, if it's a T-bone, it's a tomahawk. No. That's like my sister. She's like that. But I don't know. I It doesn't bother me. That is, that's a different kind of toughness. That's like Waffle House level toughness. Oh, to- I go to Waffle every sunday that's why she the goat waffle house is like people i get so defensive of people who hate it because it is the best thing no it's so good it's the best breakfast place you can go to is right waffle house you need to sponsor an nil deal for that too 
Oh my gosh. I discovered Waffle House. Now, for anybody who's never been to Waffle House, I know this is going to sound bad, but it may not be the most hygienic place that you visit, but I have found that the cleaner the Waffle House, the worse the food. So, you know, now I look for the ones, you know, they got little stains and everything on it. But what is your go-to Waffle House meal? I get I get a waffle, then I get sausage. Sometimes I get the hash browns. So sometimes I'll get like the all-star, but I don't get that very often because that's a lot of food. But but I get like the so the waffle with like sausage and eggs usually. Oh, I've never had their sausage. Um, I didn't know they sold sausage. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I usually get the all star with two waffles and <laughs> guess the bacon, the hash browns, the eggs, and some sort of toast. But that is just like feeding a family of 10. Yeah. Essentially. Oh, man. See, now I'm, I'm really hungry because <laughs> we're talking about crawfish. We're talking about shrimp. We're talking about the steak kind of turned me off. But um, I just I just can't do it. Like people like, can I get it rare? Can I get it mooing? I was like, just take a bite out of the cow. Um, but that's neither here nor there. <sighs> what is it? Um, you already mentioned walking, but pretty much, and I asked this question, but I kind of know the answer. There's not much room for like television and stuff like that, especially in high school as a high school yeah. athlete. But I'm actually curious, what's the last show that you've binge watched? I haven't binge watched a show in a long time. Like, I don't really watch like much TV, like ever. It, I mean, I'll watch like, TV if like we have it on in like the living room I'm like but I don't I don't really watch like many TV shows like like ever yeah everything is like Netflix and Hulu yeah and stuff like that there's nothing maybe this is me but there's no good television series on TV yeah. anymore um I grew up in the age of like Hey Arnold and Rugrats mm -hmm. and Rocket Power I can't tell you what's on television now, but I'm always curious because some runners have a list of shows and then some runners don't, but yeah. um, definitely mad respect for that. You're headed off to Stanford. What are you thinking that you're wanting to major in? I have no idea. I, I actually like just talked about this with like my sister, like right before this, I was saying how I don't know what I want to do. I might do like something like might look into like some of the social sciences, but I don't really know. Um, yeah, I, I really like have no idea what I want to do. I think once I get there, because they have like so many options and like once I like hear more about it in person and like get more ideas and hear what the team does and just like I'll be able to like figure it out. Yeah, that is absolutely no <laughs> problem not to know now mm -hmm. but I will say this I think later on down the line you would be a great coach thank like, you if you ever decided to go into that yeah like I think that would I think it really suits your family well mm -hmm. <laughs> like to all be coaches it's like a it's like you have they say you have the it factor but like I mm -hmm. can I can definitely see it like mm -hmm. you have the coaching it factor that would actually be fun and like i told somebody yeah. else i actually told sinclair this because i i don't know she seems to have it too if anybody crosses you just kick them off the team you don't have to you know spend time worrying about all that other stuff <laughs> um so yeah that would be that's what i think but you're headed into stanford mm -hmm. what are some of the goals that you set for yourself specifically you know your first year of running and just what is it about college that you are most interested in that maybe yeah. you haven't experienced? Yeah, so my goal for freshman cross country season is to get on, like, I want to be top five, so I want to score for the team. And then hopefully, you know, the team 
because cross country is like, especially in college, is like very team oriented. So hopefully the team can like, we have a, a good team and we can win a couple like championships and some big meets, which would be like, that's all of our goals. I know for sure. And then like for track season, um, I don't know much about indoor. Um, so it will be interesting to see like what I have to do like what I'm, I run in at indoor Nash, like if I, how indoor season goes. And then for outdoor season, um, I definitely want to try to qualify for, for nationals as a freshman. That's like very difficult, but just to try in the 5k, um, I know. Yeah. I just want to like, hopefully just like run some good times. Like definitely like breaks 1540 in the 5k like by my freshman year um on the track would be super cool have a lot of work to do but just just run some good times what's your pr now um last year i ran a 1616 oh. um at outdoor national so well listen the last, I'm, I'm calling it. You already got that. You'll you'll get 1540. I say that because I've actually made predictions a couple times on this show, specifically uh -huh. for distance runners, and every single one of them came to fruition. Shout out to the homie Marley Starlper, uh, who's about to ace that 5K uh, yeah. in a couple weeks in Eugene. So I'm just saying, it's that's that's mm -hmm. that's you, you got that. You ain't got to worry about that. We talked about it. We talked about it much, but Seminole County, and I've said it multiple times on this show, greatness runs in that county. On the men's side, yeah, but when it comes to women's distance running, mm -hmm. it started off with Jenny Simpson, and now you are handing the baton off to whoever I'm sure I'm going to cover within the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know who it is. Maybe you know it. Maybe they haven't been discovered yet. But there's always somebody in that county who just puts the state of Florida on the map. How does it feel to be a part of a prestigious lineage of runners to come through Seminole County to go on to do big things? Yeah, to be compared to Jenny and Sinclair is just like an honor. And, it, and it's like just amazing to be compared to them. I have so much work to do in college and I have so much more to accomplish. Um, and just to be compared to those two amazing athletes and who have done, I mean, Sinclair just broke four minutes in the 1500. I think I read that it's like number seven all time by like an American woman like that. Just to be compared to like her and Jenny, it's just, so insane and hopefully I can get to that level and um and I know two girls have done it from where I'm from who have run on the same trails I have have done it so it gives me like hope that I can do it and motivation to do it as well and be a part of it one thing that I remember you telling me when we talked a few months back is that you wanted to put Florida distance running on the map like, yeah. you know, it is in Texas and stuff. It's not mm -hmm. just a sprint state. It's not just a jump state or a state known for elite athletes. Like there's some running on all cylinders, all mm -hmm. levels. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you accomplished that, you know, in your time, you know, as a high school athlete now that your um, high school career is complete? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I was talking about it with my dad not too long ago, like, um, when I was a freshman, I had like all these goals to go to Foot Locker, Adidas Nationals, Adidas like Dream Mile, Brooks PR, and then because those are where the best runners go. And then to be able to make it to those meets and then run like nationally ranked times as well and just compete, um, not just run the times, but at the, the big meets compete and be a part of the race um, with with the, the fastest girls in the nation, I think that's just kind of speaks for itself and for Florida as well. Now that you're transitioning off into college, what advice would you give to any young runners who are following in your footsteps? Yeah, trust your training. I would say that's like 
was my biggest part about racing. Um, when I would get on the line, I trusted everything that I did before. Um, and that I knew that I didn't take any shortcuts in my workouts. I listened to my coach and did everything he told me to do. Um, and just trust your training. And, and then when it's time to compete, just be ready for anything because every race is different and never like underestimate like your opponents as well. Yeah, I enjoyed that advice. That's great advice. And I'm looking forward to seeing who the next runner, I don't want to say who the next Caroline Wells is. Um, there's only one Jenny Simpson, only one Sakura Johnson, only one Caroline Wells, but I am confident that there is going to be somebody um, oh, to, for sure. add to the lineage uh, that you are a part of. So we're done with the formal interview. Now it's time for the even tougher questions. This is called down to home stretch. I'm going to ask you some rapid fire questions. I want you to answer them to the best of your ability. If oh, you God. do not, if you do not, it really is no big deal because no one really does. Well, no one really does, but a handful of people have with the champion of it being Miss Sinclair Johnson. So technically <laughs> you're trying to beat that time. Are you ready? No, but I, I guess I will be. Okay, there you go. If there was a food that you had to live with and live without, what would they be? Chicken nuggets I would live with and without, I would live with like different foods. Yeah. Um, lettuce. <laughs> okay. Um, and this doesn't count against the time. I was not expecting lettuce. So let me just clarify. If there's something that stumps me, or I have a follow-up question. It does not count against the time. Uh, what kind of chicken nuggets? I like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Okay. Those are the best. Yes. They use real meat compared mm -hmm. to some of their competitors and lettuce. <laughs> Like salad lettuce or just like All lettuce? Oh boy. Okay. If you had, if there was a superhero that you would use to describe your game on the track and on the cross country course, who are you rolling with? Oh God. Hmm. Hulk. Okay. Why the Hulk? That's the first time I've heard that answer from anybody and I well, love it. Why the Hulk? Okay. So I was thinking about superheroes and I was thinking about Universal. And then that was the first one. Like that's the first ride when you come into Universal. And then if you think about the roller coaster, it goes out really fast. Like, have you ever been on the Hulk? I don't do roller coasters, but I've seen it. Okay, so with the Hulk, it like shoots out. Okay. And like, that's how I, I go out hard in my races, so. And then at the end, when you think it's over, it comes in with one more final punch. <laughs> so okay i i'm good with it i'm good with it the whole that's the first that's the best answer we've heard if there was somebody to narrate a race it could be anybody an actor an actress a friend a colleague but to narrate one of your races who would it be my coach aki clark hey that is awesome you got the legend aki clark uh, narrating the race i love it all right if they made a movie about your life and your career what would the movie be called and who is the actress that you would want to portray your character i i don't think i know the answer to this one. <laughs> oh man okay we'll come we'll, we'll come back to that one so let's roll with this one if Food Network came to you and said, we want you to be a guest star in mm -hmm. one of our shows. Which one would it be? Oh, I like the show, like the, um, the Baking Championship, like the, I don't, I, I think that's what it's called. And I like Chopped. Okay. And then, what? oh, wait, no, wait, I, I'm changing my answer. I like Guys. Um, Triple the grocery, D. The, oh, Guys the Grocery Games. Yeah, that one's fun. Okay, do you think you could win that one? No, because I can't cook, but oh. I think I could. <laughs> I think it'd be fun though. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, favorite movie that you've watched in the last two years? Oh God. Hmm. 
I, I, I don't know. I okay. can't think of any movies I've watched. All good. If you had to eliminate a subject from school, which one would it Math. be? Math. <laughs> okay, that's everybody's answer. Uh, you said that with such conviction. All righty. If you had to have lunch or dinner with any person that is living, I don't do the dead part, but any living okay. person, who would it be? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I like that. Okay. If you could play any other sport outside of the sport that you currently play, which sport would you play? If I, to be good at a sport, like if I could be good at any sport, I'd want to be good at tennis. Okay. I like that. Superpower that you wish you had. Hmm. Hmm. This one's hard. I wish I had get... really, I wish I like remembered everything. It's like, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to, so not a photographic memory, but just like. Oh no, so you... I think I want a photographic memory. Yeah, I think I want that. Okay, that works and makes school a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, a couple more questions. What is the most overrated thing about Florida? The state. Mm. The summer in Florida, because yeah. it's just, yeah, it's so overrated. Or, I mean, I think, I mean, this one, I think everyone says is like the theme parks. I don't think the theme parks are that that fun. I think you can go like once like I used to have passes, but now I like don't think I'll like ever go back like regularly. If you've been to the theme parks once, then you've been enough. Like yeah, I used um, to go like every month. Wow. In like middle school, yeah, I went all the time. Yeah, it's it's overly priced. The food is overrated, and the lines are insane. So <laughs> I I agree with that. I have to say honorable mention to me, the most overrated thing is the beach, but I digress. Um, last two questions and one just slipped my mind. So we'll roll with this dream vacation spot. Hmm. I want to go to like the, bah the Bahamas or something like that. Like the, the Virgin Islands. I think that'd be fun. Last question. If you had to race at any venue and any event, what would it be? Hmm. My coach always tells me stories about him racing in Europe and how he loved racing in Europe. He, he specifically always talks about Italy and he always says that was his favorite place to run. So that would be cool to experience, like to see what he's talking about. Um, but I don't know, like, I don't know, like the big races. I mean, obviously like the Olympics. And yeah, like, stuff like that. Yeah. All right, bonus question. And this is going to replace the movie star question. Okay. The most overrated food there is. Um, salad. <laughs> I mean, you're just an anti lettuce. That is crazy. Uh, you're the first runner I've met that just hates like lettuce and trees that with the lettuce grows and everything. Uh, and all good. I can't be mad at it. Caroline, you have somewhat successfully uh, completed down the home stretch and not too bad, not too shabby. I respect some of the answers. Um, so yes, what can we expect from you this freshman season? You already told me what you want to do. Now I need you to need you to tell the people what you're going to do. Well, I'm going to be racing at nationals for cross country. That's going to happen. I'm going to do everything I can be to be on the top seven to compete. Um, I don't really know like much about the 6k times so I I don't know but hopefully a good time for that in the 20 wow. minutes hopefully that's that's all I really know about the 6k is that in the 20s is good 
So. Well, I'm going to call her here first. Caroline's going to be a freshman All-American. You heard her here first. She is the latest in the lineage and the tradition of Florida great runners, especially coming through Seminole County. Caroline, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come on the show and make me hungry in the process because I'm going to go take some shrimp out the freezer. But before <laughs> I do that, I have to tell everybody I need you to follow me on Instagram, Lactic Acid Podcast, Twitter, Lactic Acid underscore pod. We got rid of TikTok, y'all. I'm too old for it. I don't know how you young kids do it, but I'm not doing it anymore. So that's gone. But you can go on Lactic <laughs> acidpodcast.com or I'm sorry dot org to find well we're organized it so give it a week it'll all be up there <laughs> be sure to follow the youtube channel lactic acid with dominic smith that's where our exclusive track talk series is held and trust me you do not want to miss those episodes and you can follow me on fan hub tf that's where you can see all the latest writings in the past writings including caroline's story the making of a champion it gets into how she got her start in running um and some of her goals all that stuff you don't want to miss it until next time peace <laughs>